Okay. So how can technology? What is the? How can technology help us address quality of healthcare? The rate with which people have their blood pressure controlled. Well, okay. This was our thinking, right? The electronic health record should automatically be collecting as a part of the routine delivery of care people's blood pressures in a way that can be calculated and their medications, whether they're on a thiazide and with their diagnoses, whether they have hypertension diagnosed. And when a provider is giving the care to the patient as they're delivering the care, it's gathering all this information seamlessly as a part of delivering care and then giving the doc a little bit of a reminder. Hey, by the way, person has high blood pressure and like 90% of people with high blood pressure who walk into the doctor's office, they walk out again with zero change in their therapy. But we proved in New York that if you put a little bit of an alert right there, a little decision support in that workflow, you can improve the rate with which people actually notice that and you can give them suggestions. Well, they're on this medication, but how about have you considered this medication? Or you know what? They're not taking their medication. Like 30% of people who get a prescription never fill it. That was the idea. But to do that, you need those building blocks in place. You need to know what the patient's blood pressure is, what meds they're on, and what are their diagnoses. Well, you're you know, a fifth of the way through meaningful use. <laughs> We said, we want to prevent patients from dying from medical errors. Biggest source of medical errors on the outpatient side is medications, again. And on the inpatient side, hospital-acquired conditions. So there's a whole bunch of stuff around safe prescribing, right? When, and this was David Blumenthal's aha moment, right? He was prescribing medication to patients and said, popped up and said, hey, they're allergic. So you gotta collect the allergies and the medications. You gotta actually order the medications through the system so that you're there and you can see that response. And it's gotta be closed loop when you don't have a you know, pharmacist typing in 10 times the dose into their pharmacy dispensing system. We have that now. And we know that hospitals that implemented those five, now you're halfway through meaningful use, right, Jeff? It, hospitals that implemented those five measures for meaningful use had 30% lower rate of adverse medication events. We have reduced hospital acquired conditions in this country. But what was the problem? Right? So I'm, I'm singing you this thing, and you're like, well, but I've heard there's lots of problems. What's the problem? One problem, the way I think about this is, we had these incredible levers, but they're regulatory levers. 